Hey you guys, welcome back to Lisa and Company. We have so much to do in this video. I don't even know where to start first. We're gonna talk about 2020. We're gonna talk about reaching our goals. We're gonna do the draw for the Amazon gift card. I think I wanna show you some of the stuff we picked up. Most of it is related to Valentine's Day. Just in case you're wondering, this is my brain, okay? This is how I've been planning out videos that we're gonna do for Valentine's and all kinds of stuff. I don't have a lot of stuff for Valentine's Day. I actually have a few little things that I would usually put out on the table for the kids in the morning. Um, so we're gonna have some fun with this. So let me show you what I got. Okay, how about we do, we're gonna do Dollarama first. So these are tiny little four by four canvases and we pay $1.25 each for these at Dollar Tree. Um, I'm pretty sure I can prime over that. So $1.25, for two, I think is a pretty sweet deal. Heart pieces at Dollarama for $2. So they're gonna be fun for Valentine's Day. These I had seen before and never picked up. They're supposed to look like those varsity letters. They're not as big as they make it look. They're probably only about that big. I did pick up those adorable little pom-poms and the buttons, the pink yarn which I have a pretty good idea what we're gonna do with that. Pom-pom garland, you can't beat $1.25 for four feet of garland. This one was $3, so it's just a cute little box. You can slide something in the top. And I'll tell you what, I've been watching all the haulers do their Target dollar spot Valentine's Day stuff, and I feel like that's a Target dollar spot dupe coming your way. It is a... 12 inch by nine inch canvas on an easel for $4. So they are string art. Let me see if I can show you up here. So there's several different patterns. It comes with all the nail and the string and an actual piece of wood for the back. I got two of those, Dollar Tree time now. Now you're gonna laugh. I am so excited to finally have these. No more burnt fingers when I'm using the hot glue. I'm super stoked for that. Okay, move on buddy. Um, I'm sorry, I keep sniffing. I have a little bit of a cold. Uh, it seems like everybody in the world does right now. I got this cute little jar and some of these. Now, we are gonna do a DIY with these, but I thought some of these in here for my tiered tray would look super cute. I picked up the Baker's Twine because I wanted that pink one and that green one is gonna come in really handy at Easter. These great little signs that they always have. Signs and frames, let's do this. So, I had never seen these in Dollar Tree before. And although this is not a color that I typically buy, I thought they were so pretty that, well, you know what it's like at Dollar Tree, right? If you don't grab it, it's gone. We picked up a whole bunch of these. Some of them had teacher stuff on them. Blessed, I can't remember what else. Love these shadow boxes. Not so much the, the glitter, but same thing. They make great standing frames. I did some of those at Christmas. I grabbed a whole bunch of these square frames. So I love these ones because they're hardboard in the back. They're not um, just that cardboard or paper stuff. So I picked up a whole bunch of these and these are for a specific Valentine's project which was in that book. Um, Talk about silly things that only a DIYer would get excited about. So I did manage to get the cool signs from Dollar Tree with the galvanized metal hearts. Well, I was there the day that they were putting a bunch of this stuff out and they had a bunch of these sitting on the floor. And of course I said, what are you gonna do with those? And she goes, oh, those are just garbage. And I said, well, if you don't want them, I'll take them. And she's like, yeah, we just throw that stuff out. Oh, can you imagine DIYers? They just throw that stuff out. I practically buy these signs to get these pieces, but whatever. You guys know what I'm talking about. Um, some foam beads. Again, not a big fan of these. Uh, I hate that they end up in our rivers, lakes, oceans, etc. But I'm gonna be really careful that I use them and they don't end up there. Uh, ribbon, super pretty. This one is actually a little burlap. The gingham is cute. Some pink twine, uh, pink burlap. Now you have to understand, I am not a big pink person, but just like at Christmas when I was feeling a little bit of that red, I'm feeling the pink right now, which, hella weird, you guys. 
All right, we picked up one of these. Not gonna leave it black. I'm really not sure that black fits with Valentine's Day. It seems kind of, I don't know, dark. Picked up some of these standing signs. I've never seen these in our Dollar Tree and I regularly hit up three different Dollar Trees for different stuff. So kind of psyched because I like that they're ready to go and stand. I'm more of a standing sign than a hanging sign gal. This is actually reaching an embarrassing point because I've just realized how much stuff I still have in front of me. All right, I picked up these two children's hats. This one is super furry and fuzzy. These are going to be made into something for Valentine's. These adorable little puppies. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Who's a lucky DIYer? Yes. Oh, I thought for sure I had four of these. Okay, I'm happy I have three. I found the buffalo plaid bags. These are totally different from the ones in the fall, but I made that rookie mistake in the fall. I was like, oh, I have too much stuff today, I'll come back. Never had them again. Rookie did not make the same mistake this time. Rookie picked up three. I should probably get a couple more, but at least I have some, I'm kind of jazzed. All right, uh, same thing, red and white microfiber towel, kitchen towel, that's gonna be for Valentine's. Of course, I picked up the little wooden stickers and so many fun things you can do with that. I also found this, oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I thought this was so pretty. It looks like an envelope and I think I'm gonna use it just like this. Super psyched the day I was there. They were just putting these out, so I'm excited to do something fun with those. Pink and white gingham napkins. They're buffalo plaid, right? I managed to get my hands on two of the wooden hearts. That's all there was. They were barely started putting stuff out. And I think I've mentioned before, Izzy loves llamas and sloths. It's like a teenager thing right now. And you guys have seen, I made her a pumpkin sign. I made her a Christmas sign. So, yep, she's getting a Valentine's sign too. And I don't know, it's the little things, right? You guys, I like, I feel like we're there. We did it. So, what's next? All right, you guys, so 2020. Well, I don't think we can talk about 2020 until we talk about 2019. We started this journey four, four? We started this journey four short months ago. Uh, we started it as a way for a mom, teenage daughter to stay connected. We started this because we saw what other people were doing and we went, we can do this. Like, wh why don't we try? along the way have met the most incredible community um and that's the only way i can describe it fellow youtubers who have taken me into their collaborations and made me feel part of this community you guys the s subscribers you are the most supportive group i could ever have met i actually feel like you're part of my family i describe you as part of my family i talk about you as being you know um my friends because you know me, you know my daughter, you know our pets. Um, I mean, I, my goodness, I swear, Charlie gets as many comments as I do. How crazy is that? So bottom line, four months, four months, that's it. Four months, August 26th, we loaded our first video and 43, not including this one, 43 videos later, which I can barely comprehend. We're starting to get an idea of what you like to see, where we can do it better and do it differently. It's been a ride and it wouldn't have been a ride without you guys. So 2020, 2020, I have, I'm going into 2020 with full of hope and optimism. I saw this on Facebook and I felt like it really described my state of mind. So uh, we have lots and lots of projects lined up this year. I, um, January alone, we're gonna be doing Valentine's Day. We have Girls Can Use Power Tools. We have Trash to Treasure coming up. Uh, we're gonna be starting our own um, series, uh, Restore. We love the Habitat for Humanity Restores. We get our best stuff there. I have a garage full of projects, so there's no end to content coming in 2020. We have a few facelifts, shall we call them, for the house this year. We may be moving this year. Uh, we have no idea where 2020 is going to take us in that sense. So 
Having said all that, our goal was to reach a thousand subscribers by the end of 2019. And it was kind of a lofty goal, um, but that's the way I operate. I am a hopeaholic. So we decided to go for it and we are ending up, we have 1,200 subscribers. I mean, people are amazing, amazing. I started this journey for me and I'm having the time of my life with this, but you guys make me want to do it. You make me want to be better at it. You make me want to just reach for the stars and put out the best possible content out there. I love reading your comments. It's been, it's been amazing. So having said all that, it's time to draw for the $100 Amazon card. And the winner is... So you guys, I have talked and talked and shot and shown you stuff and you stuck with me. You're incredible. I just want to say happy new year to you and your families and your friends. I wish for wonderful things for you in 2020. I can't wait to be creating content for you in 2020 um, and stay tuned because we have so much planned for January. So you guys, we'll see you back here at Lisa and Company soon. If you were new, please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. It really helps us grow. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by Lisa and Company.